Hey guys, uh, I was just taking some time to review some of the calls that I made and uh, the result, and it's kind of cool. Um, I The first video that I made about Bitcoin was uh, this one, how to buy Bitcoin in Hawaii, and that was um, that was in November 25th, 2017. And in this video, I talked about uh, what I felt um, what I felt Bitcoin would do, and so. If, you look at uh, total November 25th. November 25th is right around here. 25th. And so it was like around 8,200. 8, and I had bought at around 5,000. Um, and so 8,000. Uh, I made that video because some friends wanted to get in. And um, I predicted that it would go to 20,000. And um, and maybe more and uh, so that was that video and we ended up going straight up to 20,000 and then one of the next videos that I made it was um, right after the CME um, announced that they were gonna list futures on December 18th hey guys, welcome back to so my this whole video was saying will Bitcoin crash on December 18th and this was made on December 4th and so if you look at uh, what happened, and so the date is down here, but if you look at what happened on December 18th, December 18th was right here. It was exactly the peak of, um, of the last crypto bull run. And exactly on December 18th, we saw it uh, make its high and then it crashed 80%. Um, I totally don't take credit, but that was a that was a dog luck call. I mean, I knew it was gonna peak, but I didn't know it was gonna peak on that day. Um, so then, then you can see an eighty percent retracement, and it went all the way down to three thousand dollars. And um, like I told everybody, uh, I am holding Bitcoin forever, so I didn't sell and I didn't uh, cash in, and I don't care because I'm holding it for ever. Um, it's a good store of value and there's nothing that's really giving it any competition in that area. Um, there's some people that talk about Facebook and how Facebook is uh, going to be the coin and it's more a stable coin and a means of exchange. It's not a store of value. So um, so anyway, uh, then uh, this morning I made a video on uh, is, is today a good day to buy and great entry point today and uh, pretty much what I was talking about this morning was um, it was bouncing right off of the 50 day and it was making lower lows lower highs and then uh, bounced off the 50 day so I made the call right around here 11,000 and um, and all today just rallied all the way up to 12,000 so we're kind of around that $12,000 mark so that was a great entry point and uh, it's just fun to make these videos and then make calls and to see how close you can get and uh, and so my future prediction and I like making these videos just so I can go back and watch it and see uh, if I was accurate or not but um, the next thing that I think will happen from here is that we're going to revisit the highs at 20,000 so that's a hundred percent return and I think we're going to do that in the next to two to three months and um so it's july uh, beginning of july august september i think um definitely by october that will be around that twenty thousand dollar mark and probably be breaking out um i'm not in a super big rush um for it to break out at twenty thousand because the longer that it consolidates then the, the stronger uh, it will break out of that twenty thousand and then how high will it go above the 20,000? That's something that I I really, all the previous rallies, um, we've seen up to 20X of the previous high. And um, so 20X from two, uh, 20,000 is 400,000. I have a hard time believing that that will be the next bull run, but um, I think that we could make it to 100,000 pretty easily. Um, one of the things that I think that uh, 
is one of the greatest opportunities in our generation is that uh, we have gotten in before the institutions and this this next bull run I think will be probably one of the most powerful bull runs that, that we'll see in Bitcoin just because um, the exchanges, the amount of exchanges that offer uh, the opportunity for people to buy Bitcoin, uh, the amount of wallets that have been opened, uh, institutions like Fidelity and the digital asset class, uh, asset um, exchange uh, that they just opened up uh, for institutional investors. The custodial problems have been fixed uh, with a lot of these guys. And um, I don't know, I, I think that we're, this is a different bull market than the last one, the last one was fueled by retail, and this one is going to be fueled by um, uh, institutional money and retail. So I think we'll easily get up to twenty thousand, and uh, however involved institutions get, we'll push it past there. But I also predict that we're going to see a lot more volatility as well because um, all the supply uh, is limited, and there's going to be a lot of money that can push the price around so um, you're going to see derivatives and already uh, there's derivatives that are entering the space not regulated um, Deribit's one of them that I'm playing around with but um, yeah that's my prediction and so uh, this is one for the books uh, I'm going to publish this tonight and uh, we'll see if I'm right looking forward to October 100% return from the current levels that we're at. So, all right, hope you have a good night and I will talk to you soon. Bye.